So when we originally looked at the whale fossils, we kind of put them in order based on how they were changing from one into the other, but it sort of suggested that what was going on is that this species was changing into this one, which was changing into that one, changing into that one, changing into that one, changing into that one, and that they were gradually just changing. It was one species that changed over time, which is what we call phyletic evolution. Um, but that's not actually the case. If you look at their existence times, they were actually um, around at the same time, so their existence times overlap. So that's not an accurate way to, to draw this. What we really should be drawing is some sort of branching event, that these were populations that were separated and then speciated from one another, and then one maybe died out while the other one continued on, and then the population split again. And so what we really need to draw is a branching evolution event, where each one is branching off, they're sharing a common ancestor, they may live at the same time, and then gradually uh, each one is going extinct as we get to modern day whales. And that's branching evolution.